In this video we'll be exploring the use of value formulas that use the reference query mode. These types of formulas are good for retrieving referential information from the data model. In this particular example that we'll be using, I've got a product number that I can select from a lookup and upon selecting a product number you'll notice that the description, the color and the list price change. This is because I have a value formula behind the cell C3 and it's using the query mode reference to retrieve the details of the product number. We'll start by creating a new workbook and clicking on cell C C3. This is where we'll create a query to reference the product details. From the menu, select value formula and in the query builder you'll notice that the query mode will default to aggregations. We want to change this query mode so that it is references. The query mode references is designed to bring back one row from the data model and this will usually be some sort of referential information, for example a description or a product. From the tables we'll select production product from AdventureWorks and you can see that in the fields there's the product number. This is what we want to add to the filter area of the, of the query and just so we can start the process we'll launch the lookup and select a code. In the example you'll remember that we had the name of the product, the color and the list price. So I've outputted these items. If I click on preview now you can see that it's retrieved one row from the data model and if I go back and change the product number to something else you'll see that the preview will change again. Instead of hard coding the product number, what we want to do is have the user enter the product number in cell A3. So what I'll do is create a label in A2 called product number and I'm going to, just to seed the query, put a code into cell A3. Just make sure it's the right case. And then place a name range over the cell A3. And I'm going to call it filter product number. Now that I've done that, I can now change the constant that's used for the product number to reference the value that's in cell A3 by double clicking on cell A3 can see that it's automatically picked up the name range and I'll do the same for the to range as well. This completes the definition of the query and I'll click OK now. You can see in cell C3 that the description for the product has appeared but there is no color and list price appearing yet. This is because by default Excel will return one value to the current cell. But if we use a feature called formula arrays we can get Excel to display the other two values. 
what I'll do is just paste in the instructions for creating formula arrays as it's not a straightforward process. The first step is to create the query which we've done. The second step is to select the range and overall there were three output items. So I've selected C3 through to E3. The next step is to hit, hit F2 which highlights the formula and the final step is to hold down control shift enter if you've completed this process correctly you should see curly brackets equals around the initial formula what I'll do now is double click on cell A3 and browse for a different product. As I clicked OK on the lookup, you can see that the values have been repopulated. I'll just explain a little bit more about how Excel formula arrays work. When you create outputs, they will be populated across and for each new row in the data set it will be populated down in the selected range. For this reason you may be tempted to just populate the values going down but this will not work unless there's more than one row in the, in the set. Also this same technique works with value formulas for aggregations. And just like aggregations, which is covered in another video, I can drag these formulas. And if I've got cell references for driving the query criteria, the cell references will be adjusted also. There is another video in this series that shows a value formula reference and that retrieves data about products and in addition it will show the photograph of the product. That concludes value formula references.